hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we're going to be uh, looking at this uh, tag bill kind of uh, example for the alignment so we can actually build something like this where you have uh, bills and uh, we can uh, start adding more bills and as you can see uh, this is actually gonna uh, keep on expanding and uh, and if you notice it's actually basically self-adjusting based upon the width that's available uh, in the in the scene so if there's more width available it can actually add otherwise it just wraps it up inside the next line okay so that is the example that we're going to be uh, creating today um, so let's go ahead and get started so what i'm going to do is uh, first let's remove this i'm not going to use previews and uh, let me create a private function where we're going to be generating content for this uh, pills to add okay and uh, we can expect a uh, parameter uh, of type geometry proxy okay so we can expect that and this one is going to return some view all right so uh, what we need is basically we need width and height first have to be computed so let's create two variables width and height okay we can assign them to zero and now we're going to return our z stack okay and z stack is going to have an alignment top leading and we can apply for each here now we need uh, some sort of array to apply for each so let's go ahead and create that array so I'm going to create a private var it's going to be of s state of at state type tech stack okay and uh, we're going to create some text stack. All right, that's enough. Okay. So um, we can actually now apply this, uh, use that. So I'm going to say self dot text stack, okay, uh, identified by um, self, okay, item in, so for each item, okay. Now we're going to say self dot item, okay. Um, and uh, we need to create a, uh, a helper uh, that's actually going to give us this text. So let's create a function item. That's going to take a text of type string. And this is going to return some view as well. Okay. And then we're going to simply say text, not small text, big. Okay capitalized text there you go text that's been supplied to us padding in all direction five font of type body background is maybe color dot let's take orange this time uh, foreground color is gonna be white and corner radius is going to be five points okay so you're going to use that that item that uh, we just created here so we can say item and we're going to supply um, for item for string uh, and we're going to supply the item here now we're going to apply some padding and uh, padding is going to be on horizontal and vertical direction 
four points. Um, well, let's do all as well because. Okay. On all directions, and for the alignment guide, I'm gonna say alignment guide is gonna be leading. Okay. And for the computed value, we're gonna get our dimension, and this is where we can actually compute our um, uh, offsets. Okay. So we're gonna say if absolute value of width minus d my d dot width so the width that we are that we have uh width that we have calculated and width that we are getting in dimension uh, we actually if you subtract that if it's greater than uh, the um, geometry proxy that we've been passed dot size dot width okay in that case, we're gonna assign width to be zero and height to be minus equal d dot height. Okay, and uh, we're gonna say result will be width if item is equal equal self dot tech sec dot last. So if it's the last item, then we're gonna say width is equal to zero. Else, we're gonna say width is minus equal d dot width. Okay, and we're gonna return this result. All right, part of this uh, alignment uh, computation. Okay, so um, so that alignment computation is uh, basically going to give us a alignment and uh, we need one more alignment to be applied. So before this for each, we're going to say alignment guide one more and this time we're going to say top alignment for the computed value. We're going to calculate again um, and this time we're, to, we're calculating top. And this time we are saying let result is equal to height. Okay. And we're saying if item is self dot tech stack dot last. In that case, height is equal to zero. And uh, we're going to return this result. Okay. So uh, that is actually going to give us all the offsets that we need basically for the alignment guide. All right, so let's go ahead and, and try this out. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a geometry reader. And uh, we're going to simply tell it geometry or geo in cell dot generate content geo uh, one thing i would uh, i want to mention that uh, whenever you're uh, dealing with geometry reader xcode is not really great with the uh, with the auto suggest um, so uh, what you need to do is uh, if you create a function and pr pass a geometry proxy uh, in that function then if you do dot operator like you get like this you get all the properties access to all the properties but if i do dot operator here sometimes this actually does not work right now it's actually giving me uh, because i guess uh, um, actually on the demo but sometimes it gives me just like this okay so uh, this uh, can happen so uh, whenever you're working with jump reader and if you don't know like you know what properties are there uh, you can go ahead and uh, extract that piece of code out into a function and pass it uh, uh, pass it uh, using uh, a parameter and then use the geometry proxy that will give you uh, the full support for uh, autocomplete okay uh, just a little tip um, that I found useful okay so we're gonna set a timer here once again and we're gonna set a schedule timer of one second it's gonna repeat and uh, it's going to uh, have
have nothing that we can need that variable for. Let's create another state variable just to keep a track of counter. Okay, and we're going to increase this counter. And we are, what we're going to do is we're going to simply say with animation and um, let's clear this block out. And uh, what we're going to say is that south dot text stack dot append, and we want to append. Uh, Swift versions that will come out starting from counter. Okay, and we want to add that into our text stack. So we can say counter plus equal one. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and run this and see if uh, everything is looking okay. So we have these spells, and there we go, we started adding. And uh, as you saw, like more space was made available as the computation went on. And there you go. We have our pills being added and space is being adjusted. So as you, as you saw, like, you know, how with simple, simply combining uh, some uh, alignment guides, you can actually achieve uh, this kind of effect. So alignment guides are really uh, powerful and, uh, and they actually uh, come in various different flavors. So we are, uh, there are a couple of more examples I want to show you, like, you know, from the alignment guide in upcoming videos. So I will actually put them out and that's going to actually give you uh, some more understanding about uh, alignment guides. Okay, so thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in next video. Thank you.